Trent grabbed a goldfish for me, thankfully, so we can test out Whoops. the new tank. <laughs> and he actually grabbed some of the expensive ones, but it's okay. Well, fine. We'll just make sure they don't die. We'll put them in a nice tank afterward. Yeah. So let's put these in. So what you do... Hold on, I can't see the screen. Oh, I need to fix my back. What you do is float the bag first. The temperature in the water could be different than the temperature in the tank. Oh. So you let it float a little bit of time so the temperatures kind of equal out. Plus, I learned this from the Disney Channel like a million years ago, but it's still obviously true. Fish, they said fish get seasick when kept on a boat. And the, the same concept applies to putting them in a bag and walking them around, and they were probably all freaked out. That's why a lot of times pet places will pour a little stress coat in, so they can de-stress them. It's also for water conditions, but they're all discombobulated in there, and this kind of keeps them in one spot, not moving around as much. So we're going to let them float a little bit. The water's looking good. The water looks really clear today. So, if they do well, then I'll get my first African cichlid set. And then I want to get more rocks so I can get more hideouts. So what I'll do is because if you put more fish in, if you put more fish in here after ones have been established and gotten their territories, it can be more aggression. So what we do is change the scenery around a little bit. Um, so it's almost like a different kind of area. Make sure you keep the light off during that so they don't see it, all the movements. But then this will help introduce the second round of fish because I plan to get some nicer ones. Okay, so it's been a little bit. I cut half the bag open, so, and I poured some of the water from the tank into the bag. You never want to get the water from the bag into the tank. Uh, these fish come in in a lot of different conditions, and there could be diseases, bacteria, and it, there could be something bad that came from the fish store, and you don't want to bring that here. Uh, so I have a couple nets said nets. I have a couple nets here, various sizes. You don't let the water cycle a little bit there. It looks like it's pretty good. I could have probably added a little bit more stress coat, a little bit more chlorine remover to the tank, but I think we're looking pretty good here. Obviously a bad sign is if the fish starts turning upside down or dying, but we've had the water running for a while and cycling, so I'm just about ready to take them out. I'm going to use the net to scoop them out and drop them in gently. Also in general, it's great to have just like a five gallon bucket, and I have just a junk, I have a junk towel too, just just in case the tank gets dirty, and in case you need to put your hands in, and get them clean again so you don't get on your wood floor or carpet or whatever, just good things to have. I don't want him to struggle too much, I want him to just kind of knock him out of the net there. Just do one at a time here. Scales are getting all adjusted, but 